Hi, IBW46 brothers and sisters. This is a report for you from Washington, D.C. Want to let you know last week, right before Thanksgiving, Bud got a call from the International. He was on a conference call with 200 business managers. Uh, they were calling for a quick response. They needed business managers and representatives to come to, Olymp to Washington, D.C. We needed to go lobby to our Congress people to save our pension funds. The Joint Select Committee which is run by the Republicans, was trying to do an end route and change some rules to put our pensions in jeopardy. So uh, we flew out here on Tuesday. Uh, we got into the meeting. There was over 300 of us. The International Political Department had made over 300 appointments within 24 hours. So we headed to the Hill with some fact sheets and some information provided by the Legislative Department. That same information is available to you on our website. I believe they're also at the meeting for you. Uh, we met with uh, five different Congress people and two senators. Our senators, of course, um, wonderful people, definitely in our, on our side. So we're, most of the majority of our delegation were Democrats, definitely pushing our agenda and our best interests and pushing it forward. Uh, what we were fighting um, was the changes definitely put our pension into into um, risk where they were trying to tax our pension funds and then they would do another tax on people who got a payment. Uh, it would have changed our pension from green status to a yellow status. They were trying to make the healthy green plans pay for the declining red plans. Uh, they weren't willing, they said uh, the, the last guy said he couldn't help us. He had no information for us. Definitely a reason why we need to work with legislators who work in our interests. But he kept talking about how expensive it was. And we pointed out that we're talking seven, sure, seven uh, billion dollars. However, it was hundreds of millions of dollars were paid to the savings and loans bailout. Look at the two, three hundred billion that was paid to the military with the buildup that Trump just did. So it's not that they can't afford it, they just don't want to, they don't see the priority in it. So after uh, we hit the hill, I am joined here in DC, well it's me and Bud are here, along with Rich Lehman, who's the pension trustee. Keith Weir is here, he's PAC, uh, done a lot of lobbying as well. So we were very well received, did a lot of work, we talked a lot with them. And then we were just notified, I got an email last night, because of the pushback and things that were going on, the Republicans are not gonna take that vote. They're not going to put, uh, put these things. Uh, hopefully with the Democrats in place coming in, Janu uh, in January, we'll be able to do the Treasury guaranteed loan so that the red pensions can get the support they need. Meanwhile, they let us keep doing what we're doing and that's managing our own pension funds. Hope this doesn't come on back. All in all, a very successful trip. Uh, so yeah, the good news is uh, the pension attack by the Republicans hopefully is put away. We hope it doesn't pop back up like a nasty mushroom. And um, so yeah, go to the website, the facts are there and, and we'll talk more about this at the next PAC meeting. Thank you.